I've been thinking about taking a trip somewhere. Any suggestions? How about a beach destination? Relaxing by the ocean can be rejuvenating. That sounds great. Any specific place you recommend? Maybe Bali or the Maldives? Both are stunning and offer a mix of relaxation and adventure. Bali it is. When's the best time to go? The dry season is from April to October, so that might be ideal. What activities are you into? I love exploring nature and trying local cuisine. Any must-visit spots? Definitely visit the rice terraces in Tagalalang and try the local nasi goreng. You'll love it! I booked my flight to Bali. Super excited. Nice. Don't forget travel insurance. It's always good to be prepared. True, I'll look into that. Also, any tips for packing? Pack light, especially if you plan to bring back souvenirs. And don't forget essentials like sunscreen and a reusable water bottle. Got it. Any other travel hacks I should know about? Download offline maps and carry a power bank. You never know when you might need them. About to board my flight to Bali. Can't wait. Safe travels. Remember to stay hydrated during the flight. Thanks. Anything else I should know about long flights? Try to move around and stretch during the flight to avoid stiffness. And, of course, enjoy the in-flight entertainment. Made it to Bali. The beaches are even more beautiful in person. That's awesome. Don't forget to check out the local markets and street food. Will do. Any hidden gems you'd recommend exploring? Visit the sacred monkey forest sanctuary in Ubud and take a sunrise hike up Mount Beta for breathtaking views. Explored a Balinese temple today. The architecture is incredible. Nice! Did you participate in any ceremonies or rituals? Yes. I joined a traditional dance performance. It was such a unique experience. That's fantastic! Embracing the local culture adds so much to the travel experience. Got caught in a sudden downpour while exploring. Completely drenched. Oh no! Did you find shelter? Yeah, ended up in a local cafe. Turned out to be a happy accident, I discovered some amazing local coffee. Sometimes the best experiences come from unexpected events. Tried Balinese Barbie gulling today. It's a whole roasted pig. So delicious. Yum! Balinese cuisine is a food lover's paradise. Any other local dishes you recommend? 
Definitely try the Bibek Batutu, slow cook dark. It's a culinary delight. Bali has been incredible. Can't believe it's almost time to go back. Time flies when you're having fun. Any standout moments or favorite memories? The sunrise hike up Mount Beta was surreal, and the people here are so warm and welcoming. I'm doing some last minute souvenir shopping. Any recommendations? Look for handmade crafts and traditional textiles. They make for unique and meaningful gifts. Good call. I'll grab some local crafts as keepsakes. Bali was amazing, but it's time to head back. Safe travels. Take some memories and the relaxed vibe of Bali with you. Absolutely. Planning the next adventure already. Any destination suggestions? How about exploring the rich history of Rome or the vibrant culture of Tokyo? Both sound incredible. Let the planning begin. Winter is dragging, and I need a break. Any suggestions for a winter getaway? How about skiing in the Swiss Alps? The combination of snow-covered mountains and cozy chalets is magical. Sounds picturesque. Any specific resort you recommend? Verbia is a popular choice, known for its excellent skiing and vibrant après ski scene. I'm thinking about traveling solo for the first time. Any advice? That's exciting! Choose a destination with a mix of group activities, like group tours or classes, to meet new people. Good idea. Any solo travel-friendly destinations you recommend? Thailand is great for solo travelers with its friendly locals and diverse experiences. I only have a weekend free. Where can I go for a quick getaway? How about a road trip to a nearby national park? It's a refreshing break and you can explore nature. Any specific park you have in mind? Yosemite National Park is stunning, and the drive there is part of the adventure. I want to travel, but I am on a tight budget. Any tips? Consider destinations with a favorable exchange rate, like Southeast Asia. You can get a lot for your money there. Great tip! Any other budget-saving hacks? Opt for local street food, public transportation, and free activities like hiking or exploring local markets. I'm craving some adventure. Where should I go for an adrenaline-packed trip? New Zealand is a haven for adventure seekers. Bungee jumping, skydiving, and hiking in breathtaking landscapes. That sounds wild. Should I plan everything in advance or go with the flow? Have a rough plan, but leave room for spontaneity, especially for unexpected adventures. 
I love history and culture. Any destinations with rich heritage you'd recommend? Consider Athens for ancient history or Kyoto for traditional Japanese culture. Both are immersive experiences. Athens it is. Any specific historical sites you think I shouldn't miss? The Acropolis and the ancient Agora are must-visits. You'll feel like you've stepped back in time. I want to combine travel with a music festival. Any suggestions? Coachella in California is iconic, or Tomorrowland in Belgium if you're into electronic music. Sounds like a blast. Any tips for navigating a festival in a foreign country? Plan accommodation in advance, stay hydrated, and be open to meeting people from around the world. Dreaming of a tropical paradise. Any recommendations? The Seychelles is a tropical paradise with white sand beaches and crystal clear waters. That sounds like heaven. Any specific islands you recommend? Praslin and La Diga are stunning, with unique flora and fauna. Perfect for a tranquil getaway. I want to travel responsibly. Any tips for sustainable travel? Choose eco-friendly accommodations, support local businesses, and minimize plastic use. Every small effort counts. Great advice! Any destinations known for sustainable practices? Costa Rica is a leader in ecotourism, with a focus on preserving its natural beauty. It's a beautiful and responsible travel choice. I'm looking for a destination with a rich blend of cultures. Any suggestions? Morocco is a fantastic choice. Explore the vibrant markets in Marrakesh and experience the unique blend of Arab, Berber, and French influences. Sounds intriguing. Any specific cultural activities or festivals I should look out for? The Fees Festival of World Sacred Music is a mesmerizing event, showcasing diverse musical traditions from around the world. I'm planning a trip to Tokyo, but the size of the city is overwhelming. Any tips for navigating such a megacity? Tokyo can be intense, but the public transportation is efficient. Get a Suica or Pasmo card for easy access to trains and buses. Good to know. Any neighborhoods you recommend exploring for a mix of modern and traditional vibes? Shibuya for the bustling urban scene and Asakusa for traditional architecture and the historic Sensoji Temple. Thinking of a road trip across the USA. Where should I start? The classic Route 66 offers a nostalgic journey from Chicago to Los Angeles, passing through diverse landscapes and iconic landmarks. Sounds like a once-in-a-lifetime adventure. Any must-visit stops along the way. The Grand Canyon, Santa Fe, and the Cadillac Ranch in Amarillo are all iconic spots worth exploring. Craving a nature retreat. 
Patagonia has been on my radar. Any advice? Patagonia is a nature lover's paradise. Consider hiking in Torres del Paine National Park for stunning landscapes. Hiking it is. Any other outdoor activities you recommend? Kayaking in the fjords or taking a boat trip to see the Puerto Moreno Glacier are unforgettable experiences. I'm thinking of solo backpacking in Southeast Asia. Where should I start? Begin in Bangkok. It's a hub with a mix of cultures and a great starting point for exploring the region. Exciting! Any safety tips for a solo backpacker? Trust your instincts, stay in reputable accommodations, and be cautious with your belongings. Most importantly, make local friends. I need a break to recharge. Any recommendations for a wellness retreat? Bali is perfect for that. Ubud, in particular, offers yoga retreats, spa treatments, and a tranquil atmosphere. That sounds exactly like what I need. Any specific wellness centers you recommend? The Yoga Barn and Fivlements Retreat are popular choices for a holistic wellness experience. I'm a history buff and thinking of visiting Rome. Any historical sites you recommend? The Colosseum and Roman Forum are must visit landmarks. Also, explore the Vatican City for its rich cultural and religious history. Sounds fascinating. Any tips for avoiding crowds at these popular sites? Visit early in the morning or late in the afternoon and consider booking tickets online to skip the lines. I've always wanted to go on a safari. Kenya seems like a good choice. Any recommendations? The Masai Mara National Reserve is renowned for its wildlife. You can witness the great migration there. That's on my bucket list. Any advice on the best time to visit for optimal wildlife viewing? The migration usually happens between July and October. Plan your safari during that period for an incredible experience. I'm in need of a serene coastal retreat. Any Greek islands you recommend? Santorini is known for its stunning sunsets and whitewashed buildings. It's a romantic and picturesque destination. Sounds perfect. Any lesser known islands that offer a more secluded experience? Try Milos or Naxos. They have beautiful beaches and a more laid-back atmosphere compared to the more touristy islands. I want to experience a winter wonderland. Lapland in Finland seems like the place. Thoughts? Lapland is magical, especially in winter. Consider staying in a glass igloo to see the northern lights from the comfort of your room. That's a dream. Any winter activities you recommend, besides chasing the northern lights? Try dog sledding, snowmobiling, and visiting a reindeer farm for an authentic Arctic experience.
I'm fascinated by the blend of cultures in one city. Any recommendations? Istanbul is perfect for that. Explore the Hagia Sophia, Blue Mosque, and the Grand Bazaar for a mix of history and diverse influences. Sounds like a cultural feast. Any local dishes I shouldn't miss? Try kebabs, baklava, and Turkish delight. The food is as diverse as the city itself. I'm in the mood for some island hopping. Any suggestions? The Philippines is a paradise for that. Visit Palawan for its stunning landscapes, and don't miss El Nido and Coron. Island hopping it is. Any underwater activities you recommend? Snorkeling in the crystal clear waters of Palawan and diving in Tabataha Reefs Natural Park for a vibrant marine life experience. Considering backpacking in South America, where should I start? Begin in Cusco, Peru, and explore the ancient ruins of Machu Picchu. It's an unforgettable start to a South American adventure. Machu Picchu is a must. Any other countries you recommend for a backpacking journey? Bolivia for the salt flats and the Amazon rainforest, and Colombia for its vibrant cities and lush landscapes. I'm an art enthusiast. Any destination that's a haven for art and history. Florence, Italy, is a masterpiece in itself. Visit the Uffizi Gallery, Ponte Vecchio, and the Florence Cathedral for a cultural immersion. Perfect. Any tips for avoiding long lines at the museums? Book your tickets online in advance and consider visiting during the off-peak hours for a more relaxed experience. Looking for a charming coastal destination? Any suggestions? The Algarve region in Portugal is stunning. Explore Lagos for its picturesque beaches and dramatic cliffs. Sounds idyllic. Any local seafood dishes I should try? Don't miss the grilled sardines and cataplana, a seafood stew. The coastal towns have fantastic seafood restaurants. I'm intrigued by historical places. Any recommendations? Kyoto, Japan, is a treasure trove of history. Visit Kinkaku-ji, the Golden Pavilion, and Fushimi Inari Shrine for a spiritual experience. Kyoto is on my list. Any advice on experiencing traditional tea ceremonies? Visit Uji, a nearby city famous for its green tea. You can participate in a traditional tea ceremony there.